headed out to the polls or just to work school this morning. Temperatures are very cold. 39 degrees. Thankfully, you can see bright sunny skies are underway here in the capital city. Temperatures have not been this cold in Baton Rouge since the end of February. We were in the upper uh, upper 30s uh, at the end of February for morning temperatures. We're waking up to the mid and upper 30s, mainly north of I-12 this morning and then south of I-10. We have temperatures in the 40s. So thankfully, again, if you're not a fan of the cold weather, we are going to warm up into the 70s by the afternoon. So as you head to the polls this morning, you will need the coats. You can probably shed a few layers through the morning as we'll warm up to the 60s, topping out in the low and mid 70s. Now toward the time when the polls close, temperatures are going to tumble right back into the 50s. High pressure is going to keep us nice, clear and dry in the coming days. But while it's situated over us and just parked over our region, we'll have a northeast wind. But as it pushes to the east, that means an onshore wind out of the east and then the southeast, which means warmer temperatures in the coming days and higher humidity. It's not going to be, I wouldn't call it humid, at least until the weekend as dew points climb back into the 60s. But in the meantime, it's going to be pretty comfortable each and every day, just warmer as we head to the weekend. We're back in the 70s and 80s by the weekend. As for rain chances, staying dry all the way through Friday, may have a few showers creep into the region Friday night, but rain chances aren't uh, introduced into the forecast at least until Saturday and even then only a 20% chance for rain. So again, each and every day, the afternoon and mornings are going to be a little warmer. So this is going to be the coldest morning we have at least for the next seven days. And we're watching major Hurricane Ada, which is forecast to make landfall along the coast of Nicaragua in the coming hours. It has weakened a little bit, thankfully, before a landfall. Now down to 145 mile per hour winds, which it's still a monstrous Cat 4 hurricane moving to the west southwest at four miles per hour, going to bring catastrophic damage to Central America. I'm talking over 20 feet of storm surge and then over three feet of rain for these areas in Central America. As it moves inland, it is going to quickly weaken thanks to the mountain, mountainous terrain and, the, and just being on land, but then it's forecast to move back into the Caribbean over the weekend, and there it will have the potential to reorganize itself and re-intensify into a tropical storm or even a hurricane. So beyond the weekend, we should have to uh, or we will have to watch this because it may move uh, toward the Florida Straits, possibly into the southern Gulf of Mexico. It's just too early to tell what's going to happen with it and how it's going to look once it moves back into the Caribbean. So we'll keep you posted, but no imminent threats. Nice calm weather here in South Louisiana for the next seven days. Highs will be in the 70s and 80s with lows warming back up into the 60s as we head toward the weekend. Kellyanne. Hi, Ashley.